Literature and Translation House in Sofia opened in 2015, about three years ago, and since, it has been a meeting point of writers and literary translators from Bulgaria and from all over the world. The house was built in the 30s, and for a long time it was the residence of the prominent Bulgarian painter Nenko Balkansky and his family. The International Residency Program is at the heart of our work. It offers to writers and literary translators a peaceful yet stimulating environment for writing or translating. Not all of the results of what we do are intangible. Here are some of the books, already published, that have been written or translated by our residents. Sofia can be an inspiring place for writing and translating. Sofia is a green and cozy city. One can discover here its lively cultural scene, meet like-minded colleagues in literature and translation, ready to share their experiences and enthusiasm, to get insights into the wider Bulgarian literary and art scene. To stimulate debate among different generations of Bulgarian literary translators, we organize workshops, seminars and public discussions. These are dedicated to issues of professional interest, ranging from seemingly obscure ones, such as the specifics of translating 16th century Dutch literature, to issues directly applicable in the translator's practices, such as the use and misuse of footnotes. The true embodiment of the translation process, however, are the unique moments of life collaboration between our residents and the Bulgarian authors they translate. In the times of new technologies and virtual communication, these real meetings underline the very important human aspect of literature and translation. Thanks to collaboration with many dedicated partner organizations and individuals, both local and international, the house is becoming a symbol of Sofia's literary hospitality and also a true site for international literary communication, where one can meet and exchange with talented peers in all sorts of languages. In other words, every single day of the year we celebrate literature and the art of literary translation.